In this video, we will look at how to create a user account in Encore. We will also look at how to create user groups and how to assign your user group to a user account. First, let's take a look at how to create a user group. To do so, navigate to System Administration and select User Groups. User groups allow you to define menu access, permissions, and restrictions for a large number of users. This makes managing users much easier since they inherit all the settings from their user group. Some examples of user groups include FMB servers, FMB managers, golf staff, etc. You will have access to a default set of user groups. To create a new group, click the New button. And go ahead and give your group a description. To modify menu access, click Menu Security Setup. Note that you can only grant menu access for modules that you yourself have access to. In the menu security profile, you can click the expand all button to expand all security levels, or click the collapse all button to collapse all the levels. You can expand a single level by clicking the plus sign next to the module. The preview pane on the right allows you to expand the modules to preview the options that are available. If you do not see the preview pane on your screen, click the preview button to open it. To change permissions, select the security level you'd like to make adjustments to and click full access, view only, or no access. To select multiple levels, hold down the control key on your keyboard. If the security level you select has sublevels, the changes will be applied to all the sublevels and menu items. You will know permissions have been adjusted at a sublevel or menu item as a second check mark will be added to the group security level. Once you have made the permission adjustments, click close. In the users tab, Select which users will be part of this user group. Utilize the Restrictions tab to apply restrictions to specific companies, sales, billing, and payment item groups, and if the users should have access to default slash override GL allocations, inventory and POS orders, vendors, to specify which user groups can see which type of vendors, document types, CRM types, and staff scheduling. The miscellaneous tab allows for additional restrictions to be put in place, including the option to not enforce the password policy for this user group if you are using password controls. This option can come in handy for user groups such as FMB servers who have to log in multiple times over the course of their shift. For more information on how to configure password controls, watch the video titled Password Controls. Note that some of these options are can do and some are cannot do. The booking module section allows for permissions and restrictions to be set per booking module that your club has. Each booking module has its own set of specific permissions and restrictions that can be applied accordingly. The other module section allows for permissions and restrictions to be set for accounts receivable, point of sale, time tracker, and the staff app. After you've configured the permissions and restrictions for this user group, click Save. If your club purchases a new add-on module, all users will automatically have access. Therefore, it would be a good idea to make permission and restriction adjustments at the user group level to be applied to the applicable users. Now that we know how to create a user group, let's create a new user by selecting the user's submodule. You can click New to create a new user, or click Duplicate to copy a current user settings. If you do duplicate the user's account, don't forget to adjust the first and last name, as well as the username. Use the group drop-down to assign a user group to this user. Also make sure you enter and confirm a password. If password controls have been enabled in global settings, you can flag to allow the user to reset their password at the next login. 
If a user has locked themselves out of Encore after an unsuccessful number of login attempts, you can click Release Locked Account to allow them to log in again. You can also enter an email address and ensure this user is flagged as active. If needed, you can override the group menu settings and make adjustments for this specific user. If this user has a staff account, you can link the user to the staff account by enabling this user has a staff profile and specifying the user. If you do link this user to a staff member, the staff info tab will become available where you can make adjustments to the staff information and settings. You will typically only utilize staff accounts for activity tracking, time tracker, or appointment booking. If you flag Provide Update Notifications, when Jonas deploys an update, this user will be notified and will be allowed to schedule the update. Utilize the Restrictions, Booking Modules, and other module sections to override specific user group permissions and restrictions specifically for this user. If you've made any changes, don't forget to click that save button. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.